Okay, right, let's talk about these models here. Now, back in September 2024, I was at the Bressingham Model Railway Show and I was exhibiting there and I did have time to go and buy some used models from some of the uh, traders there. And I'm really pleased about this one. I've been waiting years to get hold of one at a decent price or relatively decent price. And we'll get to that one in a bit. I also need some help identifying the actual number of this locomotive. And the same with this one. So I'm not too sure about the model numbers of these, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So first of all, we'll look at this one. So I'll move these two out of the way. And take a closer look at this. Now, this one is a Lima Class 87, and it is City of London. And I paid £30 for it. And I think that was a pretty good price. So let's take it out of the box and have a closer look. So this one is actually in the right box, so which is a good start. Remove the packaging, and there we go. As you can see, it has been weathered quite lightly. The weathering isn't too bad. I haven't been able to see any damage on it. And it's got plenty of nice detail on it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll see it running a bit later on and it does run reasonably well. As you can see on the bottom, Lima. It does smell a bit old. <laughs> but no, I think for 30 pounds, that's pretty good. But let me know what you think of this in the comments. Was £30 worth it? What do you think to the weathering? I don't think it's too bad. Probably a better job than I could have done. Maybe once a bit of a rework at these ends. But it's fairly light, should I say. And not too bad. So let's put that to one side. Should put it over here for now so you can still see it. So the next one is this, which is a little Hornby 040 tank engine. And it's in uh, LNER Apple Green. And it's locomotive number six. Now, for some reason, I've struggled finding the Hornby part number for this, the R number. So if anyone knows what it is, please let me know in the uh, video comments. That'd be uh, very helpful because it helps with my, uh, my cataloging. So I always add anything I buy locomotive wise into a spreadsheet so I basically know what I've got. <laughs> I found some R numbers that are close but I don't think they're the right ones. Certainly not, not for uh, the number six engine. I think this may have been a Hornby Collectors Club locomotive but I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I paid £15 for this one and it runs again pretty well. Same as the uh, 87 so reasonably happy 15 pounds mm, is that a good price for an 040 these days i think it's reasonable it's not cheap i mean obviously i'd prefer a, <laughs> 10 pounds would have been better but happy with that haven't got a little tank engine in this livery and certainly not an lnlr one so again happy with that purchase so 30 pounds 15 pounds that's 45 pounds spent so far Right, now let's have a look at this one. And I've been after this model for uh, quite a few years now. And it is the Lima Class 37 in police livery. Now, I have some particular issues with this one because I didn't realize at the time, this is actually in the wrong box. So this is for a Lima Class 47, this box. But, as I've said, I've been after one of these for ages. Um, I could have got one sooner, but these tend to, the price tends to vary on eBay between £100 and £150 for one of these, and I don't really want to pay that for it. And I managed to get this one for £70. 
So let's take it out of the box and have a look and see what we got for that. Now I have run it and I do know it runs pretty well, actually very well for its age. But there we go. And the reason why I've wanted this for a long time is because I am a big fan of the Class 43 HSTs. And one of my favorite liveries is the Intercity 125. And there is a famous advert in the UK where this police, fictitious police Class 37 pulls a um, Intercity 125 over for, I believe it's speeding. And let's have a look. I've got a quick clip of it. That's a So, as a Inner City 125 fan, I had to get one of these, but I was waiting for the right price. Does want a little bit of a clean up this one. Um, I think the Lima part number for this would have been 205177. When I've looked at pictures of those, they've got black, not black, sorry, red on the buffer beam. But this one is entirely black. So I'm not sure if there was another black variant or whether somebody's, I don't think they've painted these buffers here, or whether somebody's just got the uh, the body and stuck it on a regular Lima Class 37 chassis. So if anyone knows, again, please let me know in the comments. That'd be, be most useful, just so I can make sure I've got the, uh, the right part number in my uh, catalog. But at the moment, it's marked down as 205177. But let's have a closer look, and it does look good. It doesn't look like it's a custom job, so it must be the actual body, the Lima body. It does look pretty good. But if somebody believes this may have been painted by a modeler, let me know. But to me, it looks like the original livery and doesn't look like somebody's uh, decorated it themselves. But let me know what you think. Yep, yeah, so uh, 70 pounds, I didn't think was too bad since I've been after this for a while and they typically go for 100 to 150 pounds on eBay. So very happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. I mean, was 70 pounds too much? I don't think so. It's taken me a while to get one of these. But others may have differing opinions. Now, am I tempted to add the some blue flashing LEDs to the top? I don't think so, because yeah, I just can't bring myself to do it. I would love to see it with flashing <laughs> blue lights on the top, but I'm too scared to, I think. <laughs> And I could add some cab lights and some LEDs. The front and the back as well. I'll have to have a look to see if anyone's actually done it. Okay, so there we have it. So let's rephrase this one up. Three models, 30 pounds, 15 pounds, 70 pounds. So a spend of 115 pounds altogether. And I, I went with a little bit more money than that to the show and I didn't spend it all. And I'm just, uh, yeah, I am really happy with these purchases. So to end the video, what we'll do is just run these around the layout and I'll, I will have this uh, chasing an Intercity 125 because I think that'll be fun. But as always, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.